The backlash is growing against a possible protest by Black Lives Matter at Sunday's Twin Cities Marathon. St. Paul's mayor and police chief said that today they will do whatever it takes to make sure that protesters don't interfere with anyone's safety. Not the runners, not the spectators, not the men and women that will be working the event. Otherwise, there will be consequences, including arrests. Esme Murphy is at the mile 25 where protesters have promised to disrupt the race. Esme, it sounds like even some people affiliated with other Black Lives Matter are distancing themselves from this protest. Well, that's right, Amelia. I can tell you the group that's organizing this protest is Black Lives Matters St. Paul. Now, officially, Black Lives Matters Minneapolis is not commenting, but if you go to that group's social media pages, you can see they've made it very clear that they're trying to... As Black Lives Matters Minneapolis said repeatedly on Twitter that it is not responsible and has no role in the Sunday protest, Black Lives Matters St. Paul offered a very different version of what protesters plan to do. This was organizer Rashad Turner on Saturday. And, and my hope is that the marathon runners realize that they're not going to be able to finish this race. Today, Turner walked that back. Are you going to keep runners from finishing this race? Esme, we're not going to physically stop any runners. Uh, runners will have an option to stop in and join in the protest with us, but we have no plans on physically stopping the runners. Turner insists this is not a reversal and the protests will be noticeable. It's going to be a disruption. It's not going to be business as usual. Runners are continuing to react with anger on social media with comments like this woman's who wrote, I too worry about being trampled to death in a terrifying panic situation. I guess it, it helped release anxiety. Alicia Perkins is a Twin Cities runner who vented her frustration on her popular running blog and on Twitter. How dare you say that your cause is more important than anybody else's? You don't know what these people are running for. Some people are running for personal reasons. Some people are running for charitable reasons. I think really Perkins has been training since May for Sunday's marathon and is hoping to get a good enough time to qualify for the Boston Marathon. I respect everybody's right to have a voice, but not when it infringes on other people's rights. Now, Alicia Perkins is among the many runners and others on social media saying they are not necessarily opposed to the Black Lives Matters cause. They are opposed to the forum for this protest. Dangerous situation health-wise. They fear that this disruption occurring at mile 25 when runners are absolutely exhausted could prove very dangerous. We seem to be losing you a little bit, Esme, but before you go, uh, Rashad Turner is now saying that he's not going to block the runners. What does he mean by a disruption? Well, it's not clear. I pressed him on that. He said there will be protests. He said that there will be chants, that there will be signs. But again, he used that word disruption. St. Paul police making it very clear today that if this race is disrupted, there will be arrests. All right, Esme, thank you.